banks will be happy to have more of casa or less of casa more of casa sir why why what is the reason that banks want more of casa instead of fixed deposits or recurring deposit sir, sir uh, we i now tell me navin 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 uh sir may I, if i am not wrong rather than uh, the interest rate uh, compared to fixed deposits the casa deposit will be less so they what prefer is more what, what, what is the interest we are paying in current account uh, sir uh, up to 5 lakhs yes. it's 0 3.05% no wrong wrong this is what i am telling people are not understanding the basic thing suporno sen i think you know it please tell me what is the current account deposit interest rate sir uh, yeah in sbi it is 4% i guess mm -hmm. totally wrong um, sbi it is 2.70 or 2.80 for savings account i was asking about current account current account no interest is paid by banks okay Kabeen, navin and suparno sen you must remember current account banks are not paying any interest at all they can withdraw full amount at any time on the contrary they they will be eligible for overdraft if they ask and if the bank is convinced whereas savings account they pay a nominal interest that only what you said is right up to 3 point up to 5 lakhs it is 3.05 and up above 5 lakhs above 5 lakhs it is 3.10 percent okay yes, yes, so that is how we have to tell that question good and another re area where that candidate could not answer Mm, is that what is a demat account? What is a demat account? Superno sen bolo. Demat account stands for dematerialization account. It is an account which is opened for uh, buying and selling of shares in the stock market, sir. Super good. This answer is correct. I am happy. This is good. This has come out very well. Good. Very nice. Superno sen. What is the meaning of superno? Sir, is my name has two meanings. That is the first meaning is actually it's not superno, it's so porno. So so means beautiful and porno means leaf. So the first meaning of my name stands for a beautiful leaf. And second meaning is that we know that Vishnu's Vahan was Garur. His wings are known as so porno. Uh -huh. Achha, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, that's good. Where is the headquarters of um, uh, Federal Bank? Um, Sir, it's in uh, Aluwa, Kochi. Correct. It is in Aluwa. Beside pa Perrier River, sir. <laughs> on the bank. Itra extra point nahi bolna. See, <laughs> you should not tell more than what is required also. Supposing you are coming to my house and I am asking, uh, so, so Porno Sen, would you like to take tea? <laughs> ah, yes. you, what, what will you tell me? Oh, tea. Yes, 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 I want to take tea. Tea is very good. Tea is coming in Darjeeling. Darjeeling <laughs> is in my state, West Bengal. Like that, you will start talking. You should not talk like that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. That is what is more important. Sadhana Mishra. Sadhana Mishra, CWC girl, correct? Sadhana yeah. Mishra. Sadhana Mishra, you are going for CWC. Sir, CWC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what do you know about the Warehousing Act? Sir, it came into 1962. Mm. For uh, improvisation of other things mm. like uh, after act came 
where housing uh, is involved in other sectors like infrastructure and other material. Okay, now what are the functions of CWC? CWC is working work for uh, manage. Uh... No, no. I asked today the same question and the candidate could not come out properly. See, you are supposed to go through that website and from there by heart those things. Samaj gaya? Sir, Hello? didn't yeah. understand. Achha, achha. No, no, I was telling that uh, you have to go through the website and from there find out what are the works they are doing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, it's work hai, ki pest control ke liye aur environment friendly management ke liye. Sir, mujhe dhyan tha, lekin wana English mein mix karke bana, uh, bolne mein thoda is ho jata hai. Aur uh, agricultural produce ko rakh. Hindi mein bhi bol sakte hai. Dekhe, on aapko screen mein bata, I will show you on screen. Ji, sir. See, these are the services they are doing. Storage, custom bonded warehouse, air cargo yes. complex, then container train operations, farmers extension services, temperature controlled warehouses, pest control services, then rail side warehouses, then container rail transportation, and yes. uh, private freight terminal, engineering consultancy services, Parcel train services. And this is very important, especially in the context of BJP manifesto, where they are telling some some particular word they have used, Vixifta, something. Um, anybody knows what is the word they have used for that? Vixit Bharat or something. Vixit Bharat. Yeah, BJP manifesto. In that, you know, they have told... Uh, some of the points bjp yes, manifesto 2024 are you seeing on the screen yes sir yeah and in fact uh, we have to see some of the important points uh, uh, we, let us see important points under BJP election manifesto. There, our Pradhan Mantri is telling about uh, so many things. I am not remembering it. Mm. See, highlights of key promise. The key promises. BJP. It is known as Sankal Patra highlights. Sankalp Patra highlights. And uh, achha, please read uh, who is there, our uh, Kaviram. Please read. Here are the key highlights of BJP's yes, yes. Lok Sabha election. Here are the key manifesto. highlights of BJP's Lok Sabha election manifesto. Free ration for poor for the next five years under Prime Minister Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana. Okay. The party will continue to provide free and uh, quality healthcare services of up to 5 lakh to poor families under the Aishman Bharat scheme. Correct. Free electricity to poor household under the Prime Minister Surya Gar Muf Bijli Yojana. Muf Bijli Yojana. What is Bijli? Bijli, I don't know, sir. What does it mean? Bijli means electricity, current. Muf means, sir? Muf means, I don't any North Indian boys, Mufta means kya hai? Sir, I guess it's free. Stands for free, maybe. No, no. I, I, what, what is that that um, CWC girl, tell us. What is Mufta? Sir, free cheese. Free, free. Free. Free electricity, Haan. Yojana. Right, right. Continue, okay. continue. Efforts, efforts to efforts. empower. Yes, sir. Efforts to empower three crore rural women to become Lakpati Didis. Are Baba. Lakpati Didis. Okay. Then what does it mean, sir? Lakpati means La Lakpati means uh, uh, Lachadibadi. Lachadibadi, yeah. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Lachadibadi women. 
DDs. DDs means actually sister. Sister. Yes. Yeah. Continue. Integration, integration. Of, integration of women self-help groups with the service sector, enhancing market access for women self-help enterprises, ensuring mm -hmm. development of infrastructure such as working women's hostels and creches with a specific focus on locations near industrial and commercial centers to facilitate increased participation of women in workforce. Mm. Expansion of existing health services, focusing on prevention and reduction of anemia, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and osteo osteoporosis, ensuring a healthy life for women. Mm. Launching a focus initiative to eliminate cervical cancer. Mm. Implantation of Nari Shakti Vandan Adinayam Adiniyam to ensure representation of women in parliament and the state legislatures. Mm. A transparent government recruitment system. Mm. Enhancement of law to prevent paper leaks. Mm. Expansion of Ayushman Bharat Yojana to cover senior citizens and provide them access to free and quality health care. Delivery of government service at those steps to ensure seamless access to social security benefits and other essential government services for seniors by leveraging the extensive reach and reliability of postal and digital network. Mm. Strengthening the Prime Minister Kishan Saman Nidhi scheme to provide sustained financial support to the farmers. Mm. Strengthening the Prime Minister Kishan Saman Nidhi scheme to provide, uh, provide sustained financial support to the farmers. Mm. Strengthening the Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana through more technological interventions to ensure speedy and more accurate assessment, faster payouts and quicker grievance solution, resolution. Increasing the minimum support price for crops. Launching the Krishi infrastructure machine for integrated planning and coordinated implantation of our three infrastructure projects. No, 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 you are reading wrongly. What is this word? Implant implementation. Yes, sir. Mm. Please read from launching. Launching. Okay. Launching the Krishi infrastructure mission for integrated planning and coordinated implement coordinated implementation of agri infrastructure projects like storage facilities, irrigation, grading, and storing units, cold huh? storage facilities, uh, 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 uh. sorting units, sorting mm. units, right? Sorting, sorry. Mm. Very good. Next, uh, we will go for next somebody else who has come. Um, say our Sadhana Mishra. Sadhana Mishra, can you see this here on the screen? Yes, sir. Expansion of irrigation. Yes, sir. Yes, sorry, sorry. Uh, you can start from here itself. Launching the Krishi. Launching the Krishi infrastructure mission for integrated planning and coordinated implementation of every infrastructure project like storage facilities, irrigation, grading, and sorting units cold storage facilities and food processing all these Expensive. things are all these things are done by your cwc cwc yes yeah, yeah. continue expansion expansion of irrigation facilities launching technology enabled irrigation initiatives to implement cutting edge technology for efficient water management launching mm. an Indigenous Bharat Krishi satellite for farm related activities like crop forecasting, pesticide application, irrigation, soil health, so, and weather no, no, forecasting. Soil, soil health. Yes, soil health and soil, weather forecasting. Soil health ka matlab kya hai? Sir, Murada ki uh, at, jo mitti hai usko achha karne ah, Correct, correct. That land. A periodic so, review. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, periodic review. A periodic review of the national floor level minimum wages, inclusion mm. of auto rickshaw, taxi truck drivers and other drivers in all social security schemes. Mm. Empowerment of... Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Continue. Empowerment of small traders and MSMEs through the open network for digital commerce to help them expand their business using technology. MSME ka expansion kya hai? Micro, uh, micro small, small and medium enterprises. Medium enterprise. Micro, small, medium enterprises. Good. Continue. Yes, sir. A focused approach for tribal health care measures to eliminate malnutrition among tribal children and providing comprehensive health care services in tribal areas on a mission mode. 
मेजर टू एलिमिनेट मेजर टू एलिमिनेट सिकल सर एनीमिया सर इसके नीचे ना दिख नहीं रहा थोड़ा मेरा स्क्रीन बेकार हुआ है की गारंटी हाँ मोदी की गारंटी फॉर अ सिक्योर एंड प्रॉस्पेरस भारत रोबस्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अलोंग द बॉर्डर टेक्नोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशन और इसके साथ आगे ना सर मेरी स्क्रीन में वो शो नहीं हो रहा on the fence solution because... on the fence portion to make fencing smarter implementing mm. the citizenship amendment act uh, mm. making india the third largest economy in the world Exp mm. measures to make india global manufacturing no, no. hub expansion of employment uh, opportunities making, making india the third largest economy in the world expansion of employment opportunities measures mm. to make india a global manufacturing hub in various sectors including electronics by 2030 modi ki guarantee on good governance bringing a uniform civil code making one nation one election a reality and sir iske niche education se pehle dikh to nahi raha quality education establishing new institution of higher learning balanced regional development maintaining peace in the northeast resolution for interstate border disputes among the northeastern states through sustained effort so actually this is not complete huh? in fact i saw yes. somewhere else bahut kuch points hai like um, um, sir up mein jaise krishi samman nidhi inhone shuru ki hui hai to hmm. kitna four year hone ko hai to usme hmm. one year mein 6000 rupees disburse kiye jate hain direct benefit ke per every third month उनको साधना मिश्रा कविराम नवीन एंड सुपर्णो सेन नाउ दिस जी एन पी एन एन पी ए इज टू पॉइंट टू नाइन परसेंट एंड जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर परसेंट रेस्पेक्टिवली कविराम प्लीज एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज जी एन पी ए वॉट इज एन एन पी ए प्लीज एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दैट असेंट very good good you told nicely now explain what is npa npa is non performing asset if asset doesn't uh, provide interest or uh, principal uh, for uh, more than 90 days it will be declared as a non performing asset hmm. now instead of telling asset you can say in a loan account where the uh -huh. interest or installment are not received for 90 days from the due date then it is classified as npa okay, okay. so okay, what is what is gnpa gnpa sir i couldn't able to remember this term gnpa the, to the total of all such npa accounts as on a particular date is known as gross npa g r o s s and when an account is classified as npa banks are expected to provide for their bad debts that is where an account is classified as initially an an account where interest is being received properly uh, installment is being received properly such account is called as standard assets when there is a overdue for 90 days it will be classified as substandard assets the moment it comes to substandard assets banks have to provide 
for the bad debts. That is, in the case of secured advances, they have to provide 15%. If 100 rupees of secured advance is outstanding, it has become substandard, they have to provide 15 rupees. Provide means debit expenditure in the current year. Similarly, if the substandard is a unsecured or non-secured advance, then it, they have to provide 25%. That means, depending on the NPA, the bank has to debit its p and account and provide for the loss. And that is known as provision. From the gross NPA, that is the total NPA, when this provision amount is subtracted, you get NNPA, net NPA. In the case of Federal Bank, as on 31-12-2023, they out of the 100 rupees of their advances, 2.29% is considered as what? Gross Gross NPA. NPA. That is 2. Point, supposing we take 100 crore as their total advances, and now the gross NPA is 2.29 crore and net NPA is 0.64 crore. It is very difficult to understand, but you have to practice. You have to listen once, twice to the video, take down notes and then note it. Apart from that, after an account has been a substandard for one year, it will be transferred to doubtful accounts. And after three years, it will be classified as loss assets. In the case of MPA accounts outstanding for three years and more, where it is not secured, then 100% provision has to be made. That And also it is called as loss assets. That much is sufficient. When they will go for that bidding, sir, if they have not paid loan needs, sir? No, no. Actually, when the account comes to uh, NPA itself, they can take action. But invariably, they don't go for that much quick action. They will give time for the borrower to repay and all that. See, actually, it will be outstanding for one year. Then one, one when it comes to doubtful assets, they will start taking serious steps for recovery by issuing Surface Act notice. They will be issuing notice, giving them 60 days time for them to pay the dues. And if by the end of 60 days, the borrower has not given reasonable reply or not paid it, the bank will try to take possession of the property. And after taking possession of the property or took, um, uh, say, uh, taking possession of the property or there is one more word, notional possession of the property, they will issue notice in electronic media and also newspaper media in local language and also English language stating that so-and-so property is remaining available for being auctioned. The minimum price is so much. So at that and the last date for tender is this much. So people will apply for uh, the property under tender. The person who has offered maximum tender price, he will be given, he will be sold that property. While participating in auction, they have to pay basic money, earnest money they have to pay and then participate in the auction. Then it will be brought to sale. It is all told easily, but practically it is not that easy. You are in a branch. The dues are from a local powerful dada. The manager cannot take action immediately because he will be threatened. So many problems are there. And after crossing that only, 
this uh, Surface Act procedure, etc., has to be adopted for recovery of the dues. Sir, have you faced that situation? In my case, Surface Act was not there at that stage. I was there till 2001 only. In those days, we have to file suit in a court of law and then obtain a decree. And after obtaining a decree, we have to execute the decree. By executing, we mean using the decree, we will bring the house property of the borrower for sale. That is a long drawn procedure. It will take minimum 10, 12 years. So in order to speed it up, this process has been brought. Surface Act. Even here, it gets a lot of uh, problems. Some people will not allow you to take possession. They will threaten you. Supposing that Bihar, what is that boy, man's name? Lullu Prasad Yadav. If he is going to have some dues, you cannot take possession of his property because his gundas will come and they kill you. So such problems are there amidst that only managers have to work. That is the prop that this is the drawback in this profession. It is not a bed of roses. If you are a clerk, no problem. No responsibility will be there for you. Whereas once you are becoming an officer or a manager, the responsibility will be cast upon you. And you have to manage such situations. Somebody will come and ask for a loan. He is not a good fellow. You cannot say no to him because there will be pressure from the higher ups. So like that, so many problems will be there. Today's federal bank share price is 155.95. Market capitalization is 380 billion rupees. This much we should know. Okay, very good. Now, yesterday we saw this one. Now sir, we will, yeah. Sir, what is that capital risk asset ratio CRAR that you yeah. have written? Yeah. The capital to risk weighted assets ratio, also known as the capital adequacy ratio or CRAR, is a financial ratio that measures the bank's financial stability by measuring its available capital as a percentage of risk weighted credit exposure. See, whatever loans we have given there is an element of risk involved even in respect of standard assets banks have to provide some money whether yes. it has that ability whether it has the ability to bear the loss that is what is being tested by this CRAR mostly they will not ask you such tough questions they will they will only ask what is crar you have to expand that and tell them just okay. as what is cbs what is cbs uh, i don't know cbs is core banking solution okay okay core banking what is core banking solution Sir, uh, the it means the major banking uh, operations like account management or transaction processing no, like this. Not that. You should tell like this. Core banking solution means a software that is used to connect all the branches of the bank with the main server so that one can operate from another branch of the bank itself is account. That okay. is known as, yeah. So what they say, risk-weighted means what? If it is a staff account, you have to provide for 100 rupees, 0.25 rupees. If it is another type of standard assets, you have to provide 
0.40. If it is guaranteed by government, then you need to provide less. If the account has come to substandard stage, you have to provide 15%, 25%. If it had been outstanding for one year and more, then you have to increase it to 25% and 40%, depending on secured, unsecured, like that. And okay. after three years, you have to provide all the 100 rupees. Do you have that 100 rupees as capital with you? Okay. Capital, not only capital, capital plus profits plus reserves. Do you have that reserve with you? Then it will be considered okay. Understand? Okay, sir. Yeah. It's really tough to understand. It is very tough to understand. Even I don't follow it. Na? That is why yeah. I am using this. Uh, uh, luckily, now internet is helping me teach well. Otherwise, it is really tough. Yes, sir. Yeah. But these questions will be asked for MCOM students, MBA finance students. Understand? Okay. okay. Yeah. Next, we are, I think yesterday we were in 106 or something like that. Yesterday, which page we were seeing? Any idea? Sir, you were seeing the success of NIT uh, student who just oh, re right. yesterday only, reported. Yesterday, only yes. those two things we were seeing. Correct. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is a clerk interview. The name is Ritik Sharma. Uh, Superno, please read. Uh, location Delhi, panel 2 mail. Question 1, tell me about yourself. Question two, why why do you want to leave TCS and Federal Bank since I'm already and, working there? Yeah, and join Federal Bank. This boy was selected. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question three, why did you, uh, why you did your graduation from Mumbai when you belong to UP? Question four, when and why you shifted your focus from cricket to studies banking sector since I was a professional cricketer. So as I have a question here, sir, uh, they might ask about extracurricular activities like do you have an interest in sports or any other. But sir, sir I uh, have never like played cricket or football like in district or in uh, tournaments or neither in my college I have participated in an extracurricular activities. So that in that case, what should I tell them? No, no. If you have not represented the college also, if you have interest, if you have played it for your personal satisfaction, you can mention about that. Okay. Like if they ask about extracurricular, then I will say that I I have not participated in any activities and like this, I will say, right? I, you should then, tell extracurricular. What is extracurricular activity as on date for you? Uh, uh, sir, like the activities which you do apart from your academics. Mm, bolo. Sir, like uh, um, my hobbies lies in cooking. I'm a, I am like cooking various dishes and I also have a passion for Indian local classical music. So the, you can tell like that. I, my uh, hobbies are cooking, then listening to Indian classical music and playing. No, sir, singing. I, I sing singing. it. Singing, yes, you can tell like that. You can tell, and then they will ask you to sing. Okay. <laughs> can you sing one minute now? Uh, yes, sir. Sing, sing. Uh, uh, just a minute. Kavo gunakali guniyaname Kavo gunakali gune ki baat samjhat jhat Chal chali man chali Kavo gunakali guniyaname Super, 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 good. You are singing nicely. Good. <laughs> So very nice. So why are you not singing Robindra Shongit? Sir, I know Robindra Shongit also very well. Why you please sing for half a minute? Okay, sir. Uh, wait a uh, Just a minute. Let me just remember this. Robindra Shongit. 
সুখী ভাবনা কাহারে বলে সুখী যাত না কাহারে বলে তোমরা যে বলো দিবস রজনী ভালোবাসা ভাষা সুখী ভালোবাসা কারে কয় সে কি কে বলি যাত নাময় What you are asking divorce? রবীন্দ্রনাথের <laughs> লাইফ উইথ রবীন্দ্রনাথ very good correct 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 yeah thank you now we will go ahead with uh, um, where were you acha what additional thing uh, uh, yeah uh, what additional thing to uh, to can bring to federal bank with your sports experience one minute. okay what additional thing you can okay next how you how you are aware about mm how you are aware about latest updates on indices 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 means matlab share price that the share price bombay okay. stock exchange sensex then okay. um, nsc sensex you can tell them i always watch uh, i i read from um, internet and i also read from okay. newspapers yeah okay and uh, how uh, okay tell us more about your job role in tcs and your current ctc tcs mm. versus federal bank tell us five difference superb okay. superb they can <laughs> ask you like this tell five difference between your native place and delhi aisa to nahi puchega but nahi go, nahi. go ahead. okay who is your favorite cricketer and why still playing cricket or not duration of notice period is tcs hmm. ready or relocation is needed okay hmm. most of all hmm. my personal questions yeah it was all personal questions there was not even one banking question yes sir yeah now next uh, uh, next is i will go to uh navin navin please read this is po chandigarh we will avoid yes, po sir. because one minute po is not required bengaluru clerk read yes, sir uh, intro hobbies why federal bank what do you like the most about federal bank where do you see yourself in next 10 years how important is this job uh, why not company secretary since i was pursuing it what do you expect from federal bank ready to relocate are you aware of current affairs tell us about the highlight mm. uh, are you are you aware about recent happenings in the federal bank why not account in federal bank documents required to open the federal bank account and what is it called what else have you heard about federal bank items in the balance sheet of a bank what is your key role as a associate see this you see the way they are asking questions they are not asking any tough question they only ask simple questions like this but it is not easy to answer that is again another problem you must answer to their satisfaction sir so, yeah can you show a image of a balance sheet in a bank sir 
I couldn't able to find balance sheet of a bank. Yes, This is the balance sheet, but it will not come exactly like this. All these particulars will be incorporated in the liabilities and also in the asset side. See, in the case of balance sheet of Federal Bank, as on March 23, 12 months period, the equity share capital was 423.24 crores. Then revaluation reserve 501 again crore. Then reserves and surplus they have kept is 21,040 77. Like total reserves, total shareholders' funds is this much. Then deposits how much, borrowings how much, other liabilities how much. Total of capital and liabilities this much, two lakh sixty thousand. Then under the asset side, cash and balance with the Reserve Bank of India, this many crores. Balance with banks money at call, this many crores. Investments made by them, in say, um, shares or debentures, etc or government securities, then advances this much, fixed assets are this much. Fixed assets means house, building, machinery, land, car, they are all known as fixed assets. Then other assets, then total assets is this much. This and this should tally. Then other additional information, number of branches that is changed now. Key performance indicators, tire 1, percentage 13.02, tire 2, 1.79. In the case of capital, say certain things are called as tire 1, that is equity, capital and all. Certain things, long term debts, etc., they are classified as tire 2. That's what they say. This is the uh, balance sheets commit balance sheets format. These are the points that will be there in a balance sheet. Okay. So they are asking about what is in the right side of the balance sheet, what is in the left side of the balance sheet, like the right. trustees. Right Le left side means liabilities, right side means balance assets. That's it, right, sir. Uh, for us, for us, right side assets, left side liabilities. Okay, sir. See, here actually this will appear like in a real balance sheet. Hmm, we will see whether we are getting balance sheet format. But they are not showing the form. Sir, here you will not get it. Image. You will get it in the images uh, of Google. Oh, there Google will... image. Oh. Yes, sir. No, no, sir. Uh, just uh, the just previous slide. Yes, sir. Come back. Just go to images sir, over there. You see co-pilot. Beside their written images, here, yes, you're, you're, here you're getting. Yes. Mm. 
this side liabilities, this side assets. I am not able to see it. Left side is liability, right side is assets. Free balance sheet template PDF. See, this is balance sheet. Liabilities, assets. Liabilities and assets. It's not coming big. Why? It's not big. Ah. Here, the, here they have put assets here, but normally we put assets here. This may be foreign format. Okay. Very good. Assets on right side and liabilities on left side, right, sir? Yeah. Okay. Sir, I have a question, sir. What is the meaning of advances exactly? Advances means that, say, um, money that has been paid beforehand. Advances and loans, both are same. Okay, loans so... and advances are same. Then, but... sir, why loans is liability and advances is asset? No, no, no. Loans is an, is an asset. Advances also asset. Loans borrowed from others is liability. Loans okay. given to others is asset. Okay. 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 Very good. Now, uh, what else we were seeing? Ah, items in the balance sheet. What is your key role as associate? This point we have discussed many times. How important is this job? You have to say 100% important, very much important. My family needs this. Another clerical interview. Meaning of your name. Introduce yourself about family. Question about father's occupation. Have you visited nearby? I want all of you to visit nearby Federal Bank branch. What do you know okay. about Federal Bank? What is famous in your native place? What will you do in free time? Why you were unable to crack government bank exam? Uh, as you are a single child, will your parents allow if you get posted in Rajasthan? Say yes. Okay. Next is also clerk. I was one of the last fourth candidate of the day. So they just asked, why should we hire you? And I tried convincing them all throughout the interview about distinctive qualities which sets me apart from others. Are you comfortable in relocating? How will you manage regional language? But most of my interview was about that single question. Then sell me water bottle yourself. Some For some people, it happens like this, you know. Especially northeastern region, especially Assam and all that. The, they conduct only 10 minutes, 5 minutes and they ask only repeated question. What they have asked for the first man, they ask the second man. Same question. So also, the my, my, they have put the list out and my name is also in the very last list. Uh, the last, uh, I'm the last of all the candidates at the 3 p.m. my interview is scheduled. Oh. -ho. I, I believe... Sorry. That means your interview will be at 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. Yeah, Ojai. When is he going to have his interviews? My, uh, my interview is 19th. 19th, okay. When did you attend your GD? My GD was on 5th. Okay, thank you. 5th of April, na? Yes, sir, April, April 5th. Yeah, he is from Kolkata. He is yes, from Kolkata. Sir. That is why it is happening quickly. Whereas uh, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, then uh, even other places, it is getting delayed like anything. Sir, so we just, have contacted uh, our uh, placement officer the uh, day before yesterday, sir, and asked whether the exams are finished. Or... Hmm. They will ask. They want to yes. complete your exam and then conduct. That is good. Yes. This is so better. Probably... He this said the better. interview will be after election. After election? Yes. Why? <laughs> oh my God. After election means after April 19th election is going on. on Achha, Achha. 19th uh, April. Then that is okay. I thought you are mentioning June 4th. June 4th. Results after results. 
so i just want to ask you something that uh, many of my friends and even my placements are is telling that the last the candidates who are who are whose names are in the last they are lucky because in the last they get they don't ask much tricky question they tend to ask easy questions only because it is the last the round of the interview so is it true sir kabhi <laughs> kabhi it it is happening like that kabhi kabhi it will happen reverse also because they are very tired and when yes, you sir. come they ask only very few questions and that question also you are not able to answer finished yes samajh gaya so i have to answer all the questions very diligently right yeah and you know interview is 70% luck okay 30% merit okay so so what Say, basis do they reject boy, uh, they will reject if they don't like your face they will reject hey that's all if Sir, they I... do not like the way you walk in they will reject no no but what i am telling may appear very crude but honestly that is what is happening honestly that is what is happening and uh, uh, amidst that when you are not good in english you will be rejected where you talk in good english with a smile and a happy face you will be selected samajh gaya okay so i have to be smiling all the interview <laughs> yeah you must be smiling all along till the interview is over now this is a very okay. silly question please tell your daily life routine useless the question uh <laughs> who is there um, sadhana tell your one day life cycle describe sir currently i woke up at sir currently ah. i woke up at 4 or 5 am after that i read current affairs like i am preparing from affairs cloud pdf so i read them and after that i uh, sit uh, i work for uh, household chores like jhadu and all mm. and after that i have cows so mm. uh, i have to stand with them because in morning i have to see them for little mm. time and uh, some chara and all and after that bathing and all but, uh, after that nasta little mm. bit and currently my uh, mom went to the uh, village so uh, we are only two sisters currently in, uh, here so after that read and uh, in this time i feel little bit alone because with uh, without mom i don't mm. feel uh, good so i watch uh, movie and all like i watch today uh, uh, sare jami par movie and after that uh, i went for the study and other household chores then i uh, came to my house again and after that i started class and giving mock for rrb po 3 mm -hmm. and now see, i am currently in your class see actually uh, present tense put past tense thoda mistake karte hain i normally i normally wake up you should not say woke up yes samajh gaya there sir, and sir, i don't use english too much of course you are going to talk in hindi yeah you are going yes. to talk in hindi koi takleef nahi yes sir for you no problem so aapka your uh, one day routine is okay fine good now kaviram what is your one day routine now you are a student no problem for you tell yes sir i will wake up at uh, i will uh... Yes, uh, I will start again. So one more. In the morning, I will wake up at uh, eight, and I will have my uh, morning tea. And after that, uh, I will be the uh, current affairs, and uh, I will have my dinner, and I will have my uh, breakfast at ten uh, a.m. And uh, after that, I will do some day-to-day uh, -day activities uh, of mine. and after the lunch i will have one hour of sleep and uh, i will start studying at uh, 6 pm and i will attend the class at uh, 8:39 and after finishing the class i will have my dinner and i will go to sleep at uh, 10 pm sir this is what happening nowadays hmm. 
how can you improve your time for example you can get up by 7 o'clock or 6 30 yes sir i can because i you, can you will have, you will have one and a half hour time night what time you sleep 12 o'clock yes sir mostly 12 after that uh, one or two since some days oh baba that is the reason. If you sleep by 10.30, you can get up by 6.30. It depends. Okay. That's okay. Fine. Naveen, tell me your one-day life. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, currently I, I wake up at uh, 7.30 or 8 o'clock. And after after that, I will uh, I will take my brush, brush my teeth and all. After that, I will work out for some time. Uh, later on, I will take bath and ha having my breakfast. After that, uh, from 10, 10 or 10 30, I will finish all my uh, personal works and I will sit for the reading and I will refer the uh, old videos of this federal bank interview, like for two hours to end of hours. Uh, later on, uh, having lunch. After that, since I'm having uh, exams within in the next week, so for two to three hours, I, uh, I read for those. I prepare for those exams and the evening at uh, five o'clock. Uh, I will go to the dance practice. Uh, I'm having the dance competition, the, the biggest uh, dance event in our college in the next week. So I am the lead in that. And also I may I will have to make the career office. So I'll go to the dance practice and I will return at 7.30 in the evening. So uh, after 7.30, I will take, I will having my dinner and uh, I will read some of the current affairs and all. Uh, after that, I will join your class, sir. And after the, after the, uh, after the class, just I will refer what are the points that I have read. Uh, so at 10, 10 30, uh, I will uh, I will take a small like mock interview that what I have learned till now with my friend. And also I will share some of the thoughts with him since he is having more uh, political knowledge and all. So I'm having thoughts with him, sharing the thoughts with him. Later on, I'll go to the sleep like 11, 11 30. It depends. Sometimes it will be very soon. Very good. Thank you. It told you. nicely. Superno, you want to say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I usually wake up at 7 or usually 7.30. Then I freshen up and then I sit for my morning prayers. I usually sit for my morning prayers at 8. After that, I have my breakfast. And since my ongoing semester exams are uh, going on, I, I have to study for them as well. And uh, then I uh, refer to some of your videos on uh, YouTube. I go through them. I go through the Federal Bank uh, uh, PI questions. <laughs> I am still... <laughs> yet have to a lot of preparation is required still now and then i um, go for my have my bath at uh, one or two and then i have my lunch after that i have a brief nap in the afternoon and then in the evening i go out for a brief stroll in my local areas then after that i sit for my evening prayers and then again in the and then i have to attend your interview class and then again i have to prepare for my semesters <laughs> and then oh. i have my dinner and then i usually sleep by 12 sometimes it's 1 sometimes it's 1 30 because i the schedule is huge and the time is very less so i have to utilize all the day <laughs> good very nice you covered almost everything nicely uh, thank you so much. Best wishes. We'll close with this today. Maybe we will meet again tomorrow, 8.30. I will take class on 16th also. 17th only, there will not be any class because 17th I will be traveling to Delhi. From Delhi, I have to go to Toronto. Sir, and on 16th, you said you will take my second mock with you, sir. One minute. Let me see. 16th. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You told me to. Yeah, yeah. 16th, I have given 3.30 p.m. Uh, 6289518, somebody. Then uh, 4, 4 p.m. I have given time. 4.30, I have given Soporno. Yes, sir. Then 5 o'clock, I have given for Banu Priya. 16th is busy day. Tomorrow, 4 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Interviews are there. Thank you. Oh, thank nice you sir. so much. Best thank wishes. you, sir. Thank Bye. you, sir. Bye. 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 Thank you, Bye. sir. Bye. Bye.